What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm actually going to be trying to do sublimation onto a 50-50 cotton poly blend. Let's see if I can hold it up. It's a gild and dry blend. Um, I've only done 100% polyester stuff, so I'm gonna do this today. It's a uh, you know gray, that heather gray. It's probably gonna give it like that vintage look. So I actually, just in the last couple of videos, I converted my Epson uh, Workforce 7720 into sublimation. So I'm gonna actually try pit, uh, printing out the picture on that, heating up the press and then pressing it on and see what it comes out like. So let's get into that. All right guys, so I think I got it all set up. Let's see here. Make sure you mirror your image and get, check all your settings. Make sure all your settings are right in this. Everything looks good. Everything looks good. Let's see what happens here. Uh, this is just, I understand copyrights. This image is just something for me. It's my personal use. So this isn't going, I'm not selling this or anything like that. This is just for me, just doing stuff here now. Still good to go. I'll speed this up in the video if it takes too long. There it is. I got my heat press up to 395 for 60 seconds. Put this on there. Make sure you get a temp gun with these uh, generic presses. You always gotta check the temperature on them actually. We're pretty much right where we need to be at. Put this on here. Like I said, this is 50-50. Poly cotton blend. Okay. Your wind roller, everywhere that you're going to be pressing at. Pre-press for about five, 10 seconds. Right. I trim the image all up, just that way it'll fit better on my press. My press is a 15 by 15. Also, I got a uh, butcher page paper so it doesn't bleed. I got all this off Amazon. I'll leave the links in the description if I can find them again. I'm gonna load up the actually inside of the shirt so there's no bleeding. Just in case you don't want it bleeding through on you. Make sure everything's still lined up. Still gonna do the same things, everything else. Three to four fingers down, I'm gonna go. Pull a little bit, bit more up because it's a bigger image. We're all lined up here. 
this guide here. I got this on Amazon too. I'll leave the link in the description for that also. I have it at 395 for 60 seconds. Just trying to set everything up as much as I could. Actually, I'm going to tape this down so it doesn't move because you don't want a ghost on me either. Just to be safe. This is high temp heat tape. It's also on Amazon. seconds. I'll speed this up in the video so you guys don't have to sit through this process. You want to take this right off. You actually throw it over here and move the camera over here. So you guys can see exactly what it looks like. Exactly what it did, it gave it that vintage look. This tape's really sticking on there. This is on a 50-50. This is more, this is, was a more of a tan here. This is more of a purple, dark purple, light purple. But you can see like the white, the white still had the gray come through and stuff, but it still don't look bad. It gave it that vintage look. More or less the darker purple looks like more like a blue, but I'm satisfied with that. Gives it that vintage look. Okay guys. That didn't come out actually too bad. Like I said, I'm gonna hold it up in the camera for you. There go. That's 50-50 cotton poly blend. Uh, like I said, I did it off my uh, Epson Workforce 7720 that I just converted with uh, Cosmo Zinc. So, that didn't come out bad at all. So if you guys would, if you'd like, comment, subscribe. And I'm going to keep coming out with some more of this t-shirt content and I'll catch you guys in the next one. All right, peace.